fără discuție. Deci, camioanele nu pot fi încărcate în cimitire și nu este o practică să fie încărcate în cimitire. Romania is home to two-thirds of the last old-growth forests in Europe. For years, the largest timber company in the country, Holtz Industry Schweighofer, has incentivized large-scale illegal logging. Despite evidence from many sources, the company continues to deny any wrongdoing. This is the first in a series of new videos from the Environmental Investigation Agency showing that Schweighofer is still receiving illegal wood. Ghost trucks are delivering logs on a daily basis to Schweighofer's three sawmills. These trucks registered official loading sites in impossible locations, leaving no trace of where their wood actually came from. Romanian law requires that every timber transport in the country have an accompanying transport document. This is called the avis. This is submitted both by paper and electronically and includes a lot of information about the shipment, including the exact GPS coordinates where the timber is loaded into the truck. EIA obtained GPS loading points for several trucks that delivered wood to Schweighofer in September 2016. A log truck with the license plate BN52PAV delivered a truckload of wood to Schweighofer's mill in Retsch in September 2016. EIA investigators traced this truck back to its registered origin and found themselves in the middle of a cornfield. We are in Raza Satului Costișa, Județul Neamț, in a zone agricola. In this zone, there are no trees, in special trees of the roots. We are in a land of land, where the GPS figures the location of a editorial document of the material of the land. Another truck with the license plate CV18EDY also delivered a load of wood to Schweighofer's Retsch factory in September 2016. When investigators traveled to the listed loading point, they found a place even less likely than a cornfield. We are located in the cemetery of the city of Oituz, the city of Bacău. In this area, we can't be extracted from the roots of the roots because there is no fact that there is no fact. The fact that there is a document with GPS coordinates edited in this place where it would be carried with material from the roots of the roots, means that the document was not just a document fără ca lemnul să fie încărcat de aici și nu exista posibilitatea nici să intre camionul cu roșii încărci de și, în primul rând, să nu exista lemnul aici ca să, să aibă de unde să-l să încarce. Of all the registered loading points visited by EIA investigators in September 2016, nearly half appeared to be fake, being situated nowhere near a possible log loading site. Experts familiar with Romania's forest sector explained that using fake GPS coordinates in official transport documents is a common way to launder illegally cut wood by obscuring its origin. So the impact of having fake GPS coordinates in the avis is that the company receiving the wood has no connection to the forest. They have no way of knowing where the wood was actually loaded into the truck and therefore no way to know if it was cut legally or illegally. Schweighofer has claimed repeatedly that they do not accept illegal wood but these ghost trucks continue to haunt them.